this, this is Shadow. Shadow's kind of a jerk. He's the only male cat we have. He tries his best to be a nice kitty. He's nice with people, though. Aren't you, Shadow? Yes, he's nice with people. Oh, he's nice to me. He likes me. He's mostly my kitty. Follows me all over the house. I've raised him since he was big enough to fit in the palm of my hand. This ball of fur is Bear. Also a cat that I had from before I met Yvonne. Very affectionate with me. And now with Yvonne, it only took three years for her to decide that Yvonne was okay. She used to glare at her from across the room. Oh, she did. The one thing with Bear is she always looks angry. So I often take pictures of her and people talk about how angry she looks. Even though when I take the picture, she could be purring like crazy. And she always looks angry. But she's, she's really, really not. This, this is Pixel. This is a cat that Yvonne had before I moved in with her. Pixel's not so fond of me because I'm a harbinger of Shadow. Wherever I go, Shadow usually follows. And so the girls don't like me very much because when they see me, they know Shadow's probably not far behind. Pixel's, she's a good, gentle cat. I've only been slapped by her once. That was years ago. It was actually the first time I picked her up after I brought Shadow into the house. And I think it was her way of telling me what she felt about Shadow being brought into the house. So generally a very nice cat. Um, the interesting thing is that Bear and Shadow both hide from strangers, which means that if strangers come in the house, they're far more likely to meet Pixel, even though people who watch my channel regularly wouldn't see her much at all. And as I was talking to her, there's Shadow coming up the stairs. What you doing, Shadow? What you doing? Huh? Okay, now this is... Shadow thinks we're going outside. What he'll do... I don't know if he's going to do it now. But he knows this opens the door. Yeah, see? He's like, if you, if you turn this, the door opens, then I can go outside. And then I let him outside, and then within about 10 seconds, he'll decide it's either cold or it's noisy or there's a car going by. He's got to go back in the house. But he's pretty sure that it's perfect out there right now, so he wants me to take him out. This is Lily Bell. She's big kitty. She's a moody kitty. She also knows that shadows... See, there it is. There's the nip. Because she knows that wherever I go, Shadow's probably close behind. She's not sure what I'm doing, but she knows she can't trust me doing it. The nice thing is that when I'm in, I'm upstairs or I'm around Yvonne, she'll flop over on her side because she wants me to pet her. And yet, there she is. Rather obstinate and not wanting me to pet her right now. Hey, kitty. I know. I know. There we go. It's easy enough to get her to start purring. See? She's a funny cat. Because she'll be all purring and happy, and her tail's wagging, and she'll be trying to bite at the same time. So she's very confused about her emotions. She's a very complicated cat. And then as I'm talking to her, Shadow's right there. This is why the girl's... Uh, they're not a big fan of mine because they know Shadow's never too far away if I'm talking to them. Because in his opinion, if he's right there, then I don't need to pet other kitties because he's right there. So I don't need to be looking at other cats. Bear also shares this opinion.